So I was watching some videos recently on YouTube, like many of you all obviously do, and I saw a video by Dr. Kwan, who's one of the top uh, scientists uh, studying the golf swing. Uh, he has a lot of biomechanical analysis uh, that's very respected, and he's worked with a lot of the top players in the world. And I saw something really interesting. Uh, he was having uh, one of his people who were interviewing him uh, do a step drill. And step drills have been around for quite a while, uh, but basically he was having him do something like this, and he's having to swing forward, step back, and then step forward and swing through, trying to get the person's timing in sync. Uh, the person he was working with, like a lot of you, uh, had the upper body moving too early in the downswing. So he's trying to get him to step as he was still turned with the upper torso back. And it reminded me of something that I learned almost 40 years ago in Miami, where I worked with Wild Bill Melhorn. And I have a couple videos here on my channel uh, with Wild uh, Bill's grass cutting drill. It was stunning to me how similar the two uh, moves were. So basically, uh, the moves were identical in that Dr. Kwan had uh, people swinging forward, stepping back, swinging here, stepping forward. Uh, Melhorn would have people cutting the grass in a manner looking like this. And I learned this, uh, I think it was in 1984, so uh, 38 years ago and really trying to cut the grass that way, taking a step, cut the grass this way, and really trying to cut the grass in both directions, back and through. And interestingly, it was probably one of the drills that helped my golf swing the most. Back then I was in college, uh, just almost ready to start uh, playing as a professional, and I was really struggling because I spent a lot of time working on swing mechanics and I really wasn't improving until I did this drill. Many of you have seen it on my website, my learning program, uh, but uh, it really needs to be emphasized a bit more and I thought I'd put it out here on the channel. Uh, and what I would have you do is this. Getting started, just start with some really short swings. Brush the grass moving forward, take a step, brush the grass going back like you're hitting a ball back away from you, and then forward, step, back, step, forward, back, and through. And so I do this all from my single plane setup for impact setup, uh, which has the club in a position where it's lined up to the elbow on my trailing arm. And this gives you the advantage that you're already set up for impact. So we're set up on our impact plane. The wrists are in ulnar deviation like Bryson DeChambeau. And all I really have to do then is turn back and turn through. As the club's moving back, we need the weight shifting into the leading leg before the club's even to the top of the swing. So much like if you were throwing a ball, you can notice how the leading leg is stepping as the arm is moving back. It'd be the same in tennis and many other sports, uh, baseball really starting here, and then they step as the, as the bat's going back. So we're trying to get that timing. For many of you, this is really difficult to achieve. So my hope is that this drill will help give you some timing. Just make sure you're following my setup information. Remember the grip is entirely customizable. We wanna fit uh, the club face through impact. So if you start hitting some balls with this, then if the balls, uh, slicing or going to the right will adjust the grip to a little bit stronger position um, and if it's going to the left we might go a little bit weaker. So I would start out like this just cut the grass that way here, here, back, back, through, back, through. So the ball went dead straight that's always a good sign and so just starting with one ball um, sometimes uh, if you're on a range uh, with mats, uh, you could do two or three balls, uh, but you don't really want to get rid of your ball, golf balls that fast unless you have like a range membership. So, so what I'll do sometimes, I'll just make three swings through, back, through, back, through. 
And so as I'm doing that and making the motion, if you're moving slowly and not hitting balls, you could think as you're going back that the trailing leg is straightening as the hips turn and then we're stepping. The leading leg is bent in this case here. And as I'm moving through, it's straightening. And so we just keep moving that same direction, the same following. So we just keep moving that way, that back, through, back, through. And that straightening of the leg and the turning through impact is what's creating the flat spot. Without that, I know many of you have learned uh, to keep the trailing foot flat and the leading knee bent. Uh, that's really bad advice for creating a flat spot. And I think that's what's holding, uh, from my experience of many years teaching the concept, that's in my experience, that's what's holding a lot of people back, is that is not allowing for a flat spot because the grip can't move up as it naturally should. So once you get comfortable, or if you're out on some grass, or even on a mat, you can do three balls. So it'd look like this, back, through, back, it all went pretty much the same spot. I used to, down in Miami, I actually had unlimited range balls, which is nice, but I would go to the back of the range like I am here and line up. First, I started with 25 balls. It's kind of hard if there's some divots here, but we'll just go with it. Got to hit them out of bad lies too. So here's a couple bad lies in here. We'll see what happens. And so this is just uh, eight balls. But I got so I lined up 50 and sometimes 100 golf balls. You know what you found? Uh, it was really uh, for the grip and holding on uh, became difficult. Uh, but I played the best golf really that I had played in my life up to that time after doing these drills. And really you just have to line up 25 to 50 balls uh, till you're hitting 150, 200 balls and really you're done. Go work on your short game. So again, I'm going to find my rhythm. If you lose your rhythm while you're doing this, start over. Not trying to hit it really hard. So out of the, some of the couple out of the bad lies, one I didn't hit very well. It's kind of in a hole. Uh, really don't worry about that. It's hard to adjust uh, for a bad lie like that. And typically what you do playing, if you have a bad lie, play it a little bit back in the stance. I actually kind of adjusted my stance or the ball position a little bit while I was swinging and to compensate. So have fun with it. Uh, I would also do this sometimes. I'll go over here. Here's some nice grass. It's maybe an inch or so long. And I would do this. Just trying to get a nice sweeping motion back and through. Just like you're trying to cut the grass. And uh, Bill Melhorn came up with this. In the 1920s, he won many times on tour, I think 20, was a great teacher. And Dr. Quant, teaching it today, uh, came up with it through his scientific studies uh, that he's doing at the Texas Women's University. Find his channel on YouTube, there's really some good, interesting information there. And it's Dr. Quant, K-W-O-N. 
and uh, I think it's uh, really important looking into these scientific matters to understand biomechanically how we should move but at the same time keeping it as simple as possible. That's what I try to do in my teaching, uh, simple step-by-step -step motion, learning how to make perfect impact and your focus is on learning to make perfect impact. Short swings first and then advancing to longer swings as you get comfortable with the shorter swing. And working step by step, uh, members can send in video for my analysis, come to one of my schools around the country. Hands-on is really the best thing you can do, hands-on instruction. And my goal is to help people improve their game as quickly as possible. So if you come for a lesson or a school or you join my program, I want you to improve as quickly as possible without going backwards. So keep things simple. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it and any comments are really appreciated. Uh, subscribe here to my channel if you haven't already and I hope you have a great day.